Welcome to the Process to Purpose podcast. Again, we're here to help inspire, motivate, and encourage others to find their purpose through the process of spirituality, health, and wealth using godly principles and values to break through to the life that God has called us to live. Thank you for being on with us. It feels good to be back. It's been 30 days or about a month that we haven't been on. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this one. We're going to be talking about reflecting. I, I had the chance to really reflect and, and just sit back and ask God what he wants me to do with this podcast and business and life and everything. So uh, I was so fired up for this podcast. I hope you got something out of it. Again, go on iTunes. Give us a five-star review. Go on Spotify. Give us a great review. Go like it. Go subscribe. Do all those amazing things and go ahead and share the word. Let's go, baby. Guys, I'm super stoked to be back, baby. Really sorry for myself. Not anymore, man. Um, but yeah, guys, it's been a little bit over a month since we've been on. Um, we've been really, really busy. We went on vacation. Uh, we we're moving. You know, I got sick. So the whole thing about getting sick, I did get sick. And I usually don't like to say that I got sick, but I got sick. Um, and I usually tell people that I don't get sick. So it, it was kind of weird for me because I had to accept the fact that I actually did get sick. And uh, But I, I decided to just call it a weak mindset. And uh, we're, so we're moving forward right now. And uh, I, I feel like I'm not going to get sick anymore. Let me see if, if the audio is on. Can you hear me? Awesome. My wife is just checking up on me. Got the thumbs up. She is so beautiful. Thank you, wifey. And I'm in my new uh, little studio here uh, in the city of uh, Pico Rivera. So we actually moved from Norwalk to Pico. So, But we are good to go, man. Um, so today, on the process of purpose, this is just myself today. Uh, as you guys know, the last time I had it, I, I had uh, Sam Bakhtiar on. So that was a lot of fun. Um, there's a couple of hiccups that we had, but it was definitely a great learning experience uh, for, for myself and for the people that I took with me. Uh, we learned a lot. We learned what not to do and what to do better next time. Um, but I'm going to get right into it. We're actually... So the reason I took a break was because all these things were going on. I was actually going to do it the day we uh, got back from um, Denver, but it was just too crazy, right? So... Yeah, I was just making excuses, basically. But what I did get a chance to do in this last month that I haven't been on, I got a chance to uh, reflect and really ask God, like, hey, man, what, God, where do you want me to be? Like, where where are you leading me to? Um, because I really don't know right now. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing the real estate thing. I'm doing the podcast thing. It, you know, should I be doing both? Should I not? Like, can, can you send somebody to help me? Like all these things are going through my head. So I was able to get an opportunity um, to to go on vacation, have a great time with my, my wife, uh, reflect on the fact that uh, we do have a lot of things going on. Um, before I move forward, uh, so I know if you guys probably seen, we've been on a lot of vacations in the last year. Uh, so my wife and I had decided um, once we got married that, you know, once the, the income was good and we're all right, uh, we're going to travel. We're going to travel as much as we could in the first year of marriage before we start having any kids. Um, they're not on the plans just yet, guys, so don't get too excited. Um, but we we use that as a time to invest in our marriage and invest in each other and get to know each other a little bit better. Um, so that's why we did it. Um, and so I told her at the beginning of next year, we're not going to take any and we're not, we're not taking any more vacations uh, till about September. God willing, right? God willing, uh, we get that opportunity. But I told, uh, you know, we, we, we discussed and we agreed that, uh, you know, we really got to focus. And, and, and I got really got to focus on this podcast. I really got to focus on, on the real estate business. Um, and I got some new signs. And I don't even, I'm sure you guys seen it on Facebook, but I hadn't shown it on. And I know the audio the audio is not going to get this, but uh, I got this new for sale sign. And I got a bunch of, uh, can you tell it to me? It's me with a shorter beard. I was actually going to put it up in the back, but uh, it didn't work out. The back's unfinished, too, so we're going to fix that. But little by little, we're getting the studio ready. Um, so, yeah, we, we decided that uh, we're going to really focus this, you know, the first, well, from now to September. Well, we're going to focus always, but we're really going to 
be intentional about focusing on the business. And um, obviously, we're still going to be intentional about our marriage. We're still going to be intentional about our relationships, about our ministry, uh, all these things. But we're really going to focus and hone in and we're going to sacrifice a little bit, sacrifice a little bit of time um, with each other. Not as much um, because we're still, you know, we're still in that newlywed stage and we don't have any kids. So we definitely want to make the best out of the time that 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 we have uh, before we have any kiddos running around. And and uh, I just uh, we went to Florida and. We seen all these kids in Disneyland, and oh man, I was like, "Babe, we're gonna wait a while." <laughs> yeah, no, but I, I know they're a blessing. They're definitely a blessing. But uh, I can, I can't wait to wait. We'll just leave it at that. Um, but again, going back to to reflecting, so I was able to to reflect while I was on vacation. I was able to uh, reflect while journaling. A lot of times, uh, you know, we're we're moving so much and everything's so fast paced that that uh, we get caught up. We get caught up with um, with just life in general, right? We get caught up with just going in the motions, uh, not really taking taking the time to sit down and really ask God, "Hey, where are you leading me? Where am I going right now? Um, am I doing the right thing?" So I was able to do that, but. Uh, it's funny because while I was doing that, uh, right before we went on vacation, I got this, uh, it, it was like a weird, I woke up like at three in the morning. So I usually wake up, well, we try to wake up like around four, four thirty, right? But I woke up at three and I knew I had to be up at four thirty. And and it's kind of crazy because all I kept thinking about, so I kept thinking about this Bible story, right? I, I kept thinking about, um, Mary and Martha, right? So when like Jesus is going through and him, him and the disciples go to, uh, Mary's house so she welcomes him into their home and she starts you know preparing this feast for them and you know she she starts tripping on on Mary like Mary like what are you doing like you need to be helping me you know and I, I so I kept thinking of this story like why do I keep thinking of this like like it's, I haven't read it hadn't read it in a while it's been you know it was just crazy how it all came up for a whole hour at three in the morning wide awake for no reason thinking of this story so i you know i i journal every single day that's one of the things i do for for the 122 challenge uh and it's my my time with with god and my devotion that's part of my devotional and and i was asking god and i didn't really get an answer until a couple of days later and i kept reading the verses over and over and it's only four verses so it was from luke 10 uh 38 to 42 um so i'm gonna kind of read it i'm gonna kind of read it and go through it and kind of I'm going to kind of break it down a little bit, but I, I, I really want to do this because it was something so weird to me that I kept getting the story. And it's literally four verses. So uh, in Luke 10, 38, 42, uh, as Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. Right. That's, I just said that she had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet, sat at the Lord's feet. That's important. Listening to what he said. So can you imagine? Let's just imagine this. Right. Like God sitting down, and or Jesus is sitting down, right? And Mary sitting at his feet. Okay. Right. This is what I'm thinking in my head. And then so she came to ask. She came to. Uh, but Martha was distracted, distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. Right. Always distracted. That's me. All worrying about all the little pre preparations. So she came to him and asked, don't you care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Right. So I felt right here when I started reading this, I felt like, man, that's me right now. That's that I'm, I'm being Martha. Right. I'm, I'm feeling sorry for me. I'm worried about all this preparations that, that have to be done. I'm worried about all this work. I'm worried about what I have to do next. Right. And I'm and I'm crying out to 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 God. I'm like, don't don't you see everything that I'm doing? Like, can't you see that? Like, can you just send somebody to help me? I just need help. And that's and that's how I felt. And I, I was being selfish. So uh, I kept reading. And I was like, man, I, I, I feel like I'm Martha right now. And then so I'm like, well, what are you trying to tell me here? And I really felt like so in the next verse, uh, Jesus says, Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things. That's me, worried and upset, right? What am I worried about? I'm worried about failing. I'm worried about um, letting people down. I'm worried about failing myself, right? And it's crazy that I worry about that stuff because, like, I genuinely believe that everyone can be great. Like, I, I, 
no hands down whatever you've done whatever you've been through i still believe that you can be great right so for 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 me to worry about myself right i i, I think everybody else is great but sometimes when, when i when it comes to myself i try to convince myself that i'm great um and it just doesn't it just doesn't happen right and I, when I tell people, hey, man, I believe in you, I, I really believe in you. Like, I, I don't just say that. I just genuinely think that whatever you're dreaming, whatever you're asking God for, it can it can happen. And I and I truly believe that. Um, so but I was there, you know, I felt like I was being married, throwing the, the pity party. And and God said, what are you worried and upset? And I and and I started thinking about, OK, well, what am I upset about? I'm like, what am I? And I've been thinking, man, like, I feel like I haven't been working hard enough. Right. You think so. Here's the thing with 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 real estate. Right. Because real estate, it, it, it's tricky because you're basically your own boss. No one makes your hours. You don't. No one's really holding you accountable. Right. As long as you're producing, you're, you're kind of good. Right. So I felt like I was abusing that. My schedule wasn't in line to what the goals I wanted. Like it wasn't in line. Right. So I said I wanted to accomplish all these things in real estate, but yet I wasn't taking the right activities. So I was upset about the fact that I was not progressing, but because of my own actions, I was upset for no reason. I was literally having like, oh, poor me. Right. And I, and I really felt that I was I was upset about the fact that I, sh I thought I should be in a certain spot and I wasn't. So. Right. That's what that's what he tells her. Um, and then he tells her this. So after he tells you, you know, he asked her, what are you what are you worried and what are you upset about? Uh, he basically says, but few things are needed or indeed only one, only one. I worry about. OK, I don't know. I'm reading my notes. Sorry. Uh, Mary has chosen what is better. And it will not be taken away from her. I And I sat there and I was like. You mean all I have to do is sit down by your feet and trust you? That's all I have to do? Really? Like that that's it? Trust it. and and like Jesus told me like yes. I I got it taken care of. Sit down, sit your butt down and listen to what I have to say. And do I get the chills just thinking about that cuz I was like I was so worried and upset about all these little things. And all I literally had to do was sit down and ask God and just listen to him. Don't ask him anything. Just listen. And that's what a lot of people don't do. They don't listen. Right. And I don't know how people pray and I don't know how people communicate. But I know a lot of times when I first started praying, I first started communicating with God. It was more about asking him and telling him and telling him what I needed instead of just Shutting up and listening. That's all I had to do. It's just sit down and shut up and listen. So I feel like I'm getting better at that. Right? So if you guys could take something right now. So as part of my reflection, I just sat there and listened. And I, I hated it. I, I well, It was beautiful, but I hated it because the fact that like I felt like I wasn't doing anything. I felt like I wasn't progressing. I felt like I wasn't moving. I was like, I could be... I don't know, pretending like I'm working right now because I really wasn't working, right? A little bit. I like to t say I work hard, but I didn't feel like I was. So I had the opportunity to finally just sit there and just listen. And I kept journaling. I kept reading the word. I kept asking. I kept sitting down and not saying anything. And finally, I, I felt like God told me, like, all right. It's, it's time. It's been a month. You know, maybe it could have been longer. I don't know. But I felt like as of, uh, for some reason, Sunday, God's like, all right, that's it. No more, man. No more messing around. All right. This morning, I was up at 2.30 to go to the gym. I got to the gym at 3 a.m. So I, I felt really good about it. And then I want to go do lift. And a lot of people don't probably won't, don't want to admit that. Right. I don't care about my ego, man. I don't. I don't know if you guys see my post yesterday and I was talking about reflecting and I was talking about what my struggles were. And, 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 and I feel like on social media, people just want to show their highlight reel. And I'm not about that, man. I want to be real. I want people to know that even though everything might look good, like I struggle. 
I struggle just like you. And and I want people to to feel comfortable with admitting it and and just being vulnerable. I think that's the key right there. I, I, I became vulnerable. I hope I said that. I feel like I'm saying the the, the guy from Harry Potter, Voldemort. But vul- dang it. I always do this. Vulnerable. There we go. Um so yeah, going back to this morning, right? I said, you know what? I need to get back to it. This is what sparked me get like it, it, I started building some momentum last year going into the new year when I started doing lift. Why? Because I was accountable. I would work out really early, go do lift and then go do work after. And that's what I've been doing. Literally, I go uh, I went to the gym at 2:30. I mean, uh, I got to the gym at 3, right? I was out the door for lift at 5 a.m. I got back home at 12:30 and I started working. And I ate a little bit, of course, and I did, and I still got to do my development time, which takes me about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. So I still got to get that done. So I don't have time to mess around. And, and I felt like God was like, you want to be the big man, but you're not willing to do what it takes. Go do, go do lift. Cause I'm not, I'm not beyond any work. I'm not, I'm not better than anybody. Right. And, and, it, and it's been showing. So he, that, that's why I was able to reflect and say, okay, what do I need to do? Go work lift. Wait, what? I'm a real estate agent. I don't need to be working lift. Go work lift. Wait, no, like I've made this much money this year. Why do I need go work lift? My savings account doesn't say that I need to go lift, go work lift, go work lift. All right. That's what I'm going to do. And guess what? I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. But, well, it's kind of it's cool because you get to, like, interact with people. But it's not my favorite thing to do. I'd rather be focusing on the business. I'd rather be focusing on a lot of things. But it's not for me to choose. And I, I feel like this is really going to spark a, a fire and be like, okay, well, you want to be, a, you wanna be so accountable of your time. Let's see how accountable you are with four or five hours of work. Let's see how much you can get done then in the podcast and in the real estate. Oh, oh that's not even in my notes. That just came. Like, I wasn't even going to talk about Lyft, man. Um, so that's what, I, that's what I've been working with in the last month. And it feels good to get off my chest. It feels good to be back. I'm excited. I'm excited like this, like this next month. Right. So in December, well, it's starting now because I started yesterday. Yesterday, I got up for the gym at 4 a.m. And I'm going to get up for the gym tomorrow at 4 a.m. because I actually got a couple of appointments. I'm not doing lift tomorrow, but back to it Thursday, Friday before I get my open houses. in. so see, here's the thing. Like I'm still getting everything that I need to get done and the follow up. Um, But now I had to add this thing because I wasn't being disciplined enough. And that's discipline is what I've been working on. Whoa. Whoa, it's getting a little. Hey, hey, guy, hey, guy, I'm doing a podcast here. Turn on your car all room, room like. Um, dang, the car made me mess up, man. Oh, yes. So what I've been doing is so I reflected, OK, well, maybe I'm taking too much time at the gym, right? Because I'm doing the 122 challenge. Um I'm on day, I think, 117 or 116. I think I'm 116. I forget. Uh, one of those two days. Um, I said, maybe I got to cut back a little bit. But I'm thinking, well, I don't I really all I got to do is get a 30 minute workout. So that's an excuse. Well, maybe I got to cut back on my development time. Right. This is, this is things I'm going through as I'm reflecting. And, and, and God told me, like, man, you're really willing to sacrifice our time together and your learning and your declarations and your reading and reading of the word and your prayer and journaling and writing down your goals you're willing to sacrifice all that because you don't know how to manage your time yeah dang it i'm just getting that right now that that's what's happening right because i was like man maybe i should stop doing this maybe i should stop doing that and god's like maybe you just stop wasting time Stop wasting time. So now I got to do everything in about four to five hours, sometimes six if I'm lucky. Tomorrow's going to be a little bit 
a little bit busier. I got a couple of appointments tomorrow. Um, they're already set up before I decided to do this lifting. And uh, But Thursday, back to it. So I'm excited. Um, let's see what else I got here for you guys. So, guys, what I, what I want to really encourage you guys in is take it take a seat sit back really think about what god is calling you to do or where you want to be and ask him and listen but take the time to do it that's what i think that's the problem many of us don't take the time we say we're taking the time hey okay yeah okay we'll see you tomorrow yeah all right yeah no i have to go to work i, I it's it's 7 30 had to be there seven seven o'clock it's 7 30 i'm late and, and that happens a lot and it's going to take time but i, I want to really encourage you guys sit down take the time and do it and and it's funny because a lot of times i'm giving this advice to people and i'm like i gotta do it myself and i, I the, the good thing is i've actually practiced this uh i sat down and this time i didn't cry i didn't cry this time i was tough i was tough but i was like god i'm so frustrated what do i do what am i to do and, and a lot of the frustration with the podcast actually came with the fact that, so I'm going to tell you guys a story with what, what happened with the interview with Sam uh, Bakhtiar, right? So I interviewed the the CEO and founder of uh, the Tramp, the Camp, not Tramp, <laughs> the Camp Transformation Center. And uh, he's also the CEO and founder of, um, of 1% Nutrition, right? He's an author, all these good stuff, Dr. Sam, right? Awesome dude, great guy. He, he agreed to have an interview. So we're pumped up. I get a team together and I'm like, guys, I don't know what we're doing, but we're going to go. Over. It's not that we don't know what we're doing, but we're going to like just blow it up a little bit. Right. More than just what I do here with the mic and the mixer and the camera and all this stuff. I'm like, bro, we're going to do this legit. Let's go do it. So we go to, to to Sam's house. And we set up and, you know, we're, we're taking our time setting up and we're just like amazed of how beautiful his home is. And he has it's just crazy up in Chino like Chino Hills, but it's like a gated community. And we had to like, I had to literally give them my license to be able to get in. They like had to like, yeah, take a picture or scan it or whatever the case. It was crazy. Right. So we get there and he rolls up and then he rolls up in this infinity and I was like, okay, well that's cool. But guess the infinity was his dogs. It wasn't even like that car is just for his dog and it's a nice infinity. Um, but anyways, so we get there and we're in his office and we're setting up and we're, man, we're like looking around like, man, this is amazing. He has this nice, all these books, all these, like just crazy things, all these awards. And, you know, he has a check on the table and it's, it's a million dollar check to himself, uh, that he hasn't cashed out. So I'm guessing that like, that's something that he's, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be saying this stuff, but, um, it was awesome. It was great. We start the interview. The, the sun starts coming down, right? So the sun starts, starts coming down. And I'm like, shoot. And I thought it was going to hit me. And I was like, I'm cool. I don't worry. I mean, I got these thick eyebrows. I'm good. I got this beard just reflect off. Whatever. But the sun started going in, in his eyes. And I was like, dang it. And he's like doing this type of thing. Right? He's doing this. And he's just chilling right there. And he, he's not even looking at me no more. And I'm like, and then finally he said, he's like, hey, man, can we like move this? And so we had to kind of stop everything and move. So that was that was one. Right? And then we had to put the mics on his like nice, really, really nice chair. So I don't know if you like that or not, but he said, yes, so we're good. And then um, so we set up and we had the lights and then we had the setup and then we had another mic with another camera. So we had all these things going on. Well, about 40 some minutes in, the guy that I took runs out of memory, right? Well, you know, it happens, whatever. I got I got the one right here on on, on my camera. Cool whatever bro it happens so we got about 10 more minutes we go about 50 something minutes right that was awesome but we didn't get to do no b-roll we didn't get to do no behind the scenes we didn't really do get to do any of it. and then he showed us around his beautiful home like dude has an elevator in his house he's like for leg day it was ridiculous and then we go and we see his, his you know his uh his bentley and then he has a hennessy um charger oh it's ridiculous i think it was like number two out of 11 and then he has a range and then uh and then he had a corvette right talking about like ain't nothing <laughs> but it was sick um the bentley was super sick i want one like i want one tomorrow but okay no we need a house first but we we do all that 
And so we don't have any of that footage of, of us walking around and so oh, you know, whatever. It happens. So I go and then I was like, man, we should have recorded on the phone at least. We should have got something. Whatever the case is cool. I'm like, I'm just happy we have the audio. I have all 50 some minutes of it on my phone. I'm good to go. So the next day at the gym, I was like, I'm going to listen to the interview. I'm going to see how I dick, right? Because I, I like to kind of double check and see how everything went. And I go and I can't hear anything. Like literally, like it, it, it sounds like like I'm way over. Like, like it's, I don't know how it sounds right now, but it sounds really bad. I can't hear anything. Like I'm like full blast, like on my ear and I cannot hear anything. I'm like, I wanted like my heart drop. Like I was probably really pale. Like I, at that second, I was just like, I, like my, I'm gonna just throw up right now I, at the gym. I'm gonna put my <laughs> okay, man. I'm gonna throw up, and and I'm saying they're like well, just super worried, and then I call Andre. Andre, what, bro, I didn't get the audio. I didn't get this. I didn't get that. Did you get? It? He's like, dude, I only got forty some minutes of it. So like we're short, like twelve minutes, and at the end it was really good. So like this whole time, I kind of put it to the side. Like I have this amazing opportunity where I could have built really good momentum, but because something got in the way, an obstacle, right? Something I got discouraged. I was I, I let that take over and I and, and and I stopped moving. I literally stopped. And then I went on vacation. So that didn't help. And but I I prefer the vacation over this. But I had like a, a, an amazing opportunity to build some good momentum. He has about 60,000 followers on Instagram. So that's something that I've been trying to develop is some type of following so we can get this message out. And and I stopped moving because I got discouraged, right? The fear started to settle in like, dude, you messed up. Like you failed. You didn't do it right. And, and I let that take over. And the enemy was just letting me know that, hey, dude, you know what? You messed up the opportunity of a lifetime. So I thought. So we still don't have the audio up. So I'm going to meet with, with, with my boy tomorrow. And, I, and we're going to get this all situated. Because I'm tired of not moving. I'm tired of feeling like a failure. I'm tired of being discouraged. I'm tired of just my thoughts in my head saying that, you know what? You messed up. It's never going to be that good. You're never going to figure it out. And all these things were going. And I, that's why I stopped. That's the reality. I got really discouraged. But I'm done. Tomorrow, we're moving. We're creating, we're going to create such a great intro that's going to blow up anyways. And we're just going to build off the momentum, even though it's a month later. Because I know God has great plans for us and this podcast. And I really believe it. So it's not it's not just about the wins. Yeah, it was great. I got I got to interview this you know this this awesome dude. And it was great and it was awesome. But nobody wants to hear or nobody wants to share about how they failed. And the reason I want to share with you guys and the reason the reason I want to be raw and I, the reason I want to be real is that we all go through something. We're all going to go through something. There's always going to be obstacles. There's always going to be that bump in the road. But you get to decide. See, that's one thing I'm learning right now. I'm, I'm learning. I'm, I'm, I'm learning that, that Jesus is telling me to be at my feet. But we get to decide. We get the free will to be like, okay, what am I going to do? Once he tells me what to do, am I going to stop? So now I'm li I listened. Am I going to move forward? Am I going to choose to move forward or am I going to, am I going to feel sorry for myself? Am I going to have a pity party? Am I going to sit down and just say, well, I tried. No. And that's what I was doing. So that's why I want to be real with you guys. And whatever you're struggling with right now, whatever you're waiting on right now, whatever you're, you're waiting for the right moment, right? To start that business, to start the podcast, to start blogging, to start, uh, posting videos to start encouraging people and you're waiting because you hit a little roadblock, knock it off. I'm telling you right now, we're going to go back to this episode in about two years and we'll be like, bro, that was funny, man. You had a little roadblock because you missed 12 minutes of audio for a whole month. You didn't do anything. Yes. It's kind of been like my weight. I've been struggling with my weight so much 
right? And I was stuck like around 225, 227. And finally, I got down to 215 last Wednesday. And then Thanksgiving came by and I ate so good. And I waited at 224. Whatever. I got sidetracked. But guys, I just, I, I really want to encourage you guys. Quit making excuses. Quit being distracted like Martha. Listen. Reflect. Take the time. If there's a if there's a small bump in the road right now, find a way to go over it. Say, I'm bigger. Because I have a guy that's huge. And he's got my back. Right? And it's crazy because like I've been listening to like this audio and it's been, it's been kind of bugging me. It's like all these people who go on like podcasts and or I, I might not even want to go here, but there's people that go on podcasts and then they they, they, they believe in God. But then they, they say, hey, you know what? Cool, whatever you believe in. Like, no, nah, man, I believe in God. That's it. Like, I don't judge anybody. But this is what I believe in. And I know he's got my back. So and he's got your back, too. So, guys, get to it. Get moving. I hope this helped you out a little bit or a lot of it. But share this with somebody the 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 audio will be up in a couple of days i'm not gonna waste any time this time once i get the the sand back to here i'm gonna really push that one and then i'm gonna push this one and then we're gonna get moving and we're gonna be having more and more podcasts we're gonna have more segments it, it like like the, this podcast thing right now i used to do maybe one or two like you know i think i used to do maybe five six episodes like a month well this podcast is about to be on steroids man like that's all i gotta say like we're going to take this to a whole new level, but you know, with the blessing uh, 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 of my wife um, and the business is, it's just going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy, but I'm tired of sitting around, not moving. All right, guys. So I hope you guys have a great night. Love you guys. Share this with somebody again, please go on um, iTunes. Give us a five-star review. Uh, share it with somebody guys if you guys can share it and then post it on your story on instagram or post it on your story on uh facebook and tag me in it all right and i'll share that on my story so we can get build some awareness we can build us you know a community of people and then next next podcast we're going to be talking about the 122 because i'm actually going to be finishing my first my first 122 challenge which is going to be the, the the 30 30 minute workout at least all right. So again, guys, I love you guys. And if nobody loves you, Jesus loves you. Have a good one, guys.